I've been confronted with this idea that people might make more of my work than I think is necessary. Really what's important is to create something special for the person I'm creating for. My name is Cliff Fong, I live in Los Angeles and I primarily work as an interior designer. I'd always take time out to go to a flea market, a thrift store, and I'd usually get something that felt like a souvenir, but it was also something I could use in my home. One day a friend just asked if I could help fix up her place. Then another friend asked, and, and another friend, and maybe four years ago I decided to devote myself full time to it. The nice thing about my creative work is that it allows me to explore different interests. There are very few cities in the world like Los Angeles. We have a very large, diverse population, but a really, really forgiving culture and environment. I think people here are very interested in a different point of view. They're interested in what's new. I get inspiration from a lot of different places. I imagine I gravitate more towards the east side, which is a little more urban. I think there's a stronger sense of community on the east side, and the identity of those neighborhoods is is something you can really feel. If a friend was coming to town, I'd, I think I'd recommend that they go downtown, maybe even stay downtown. There's so much color and activity there. It's great people watching as well. I would definitely f check out the Museum of Contemporary Art. Special exhibitions are done in what's called the Geffen Contemporary Art and it's right in the middle of Little Tokyo. It's great because you could have a nice morning at the museum and then have lunch in Little Tokyo, walk over to the Arts District. I think that would be Probably my first choice. If I were going to pick out a, a building or a landmark that, that represented Los Angeles to me, I, I think the Wiltern Theater is, is a good candidate. It's in a very old part of the inner city of Los Angeles. It's a beautiful piece of Gothic architecture from the 20s. Almost every band I could think of has probably played there over the last, you know, several decades. If I'm really in the mood to scavenge, the Rose Bowl flea market is, is amazing. It's in all the large parking lots just outside the stadium in Pasadena. And it's one of those places where you could find an amazing piece of furniture, art, planters, everything. I think, uh, you know, when, when I was still in school, I think I probably furnished my first three apartments with almost everything from the flea market. I think one of the best things about Los Angeles for me is, is coming back to it. I travel a lot for work and it's really nice being able to come home to some place that feels peaceful and healthy. And you could, you know, etch out a really nice life for yourself here. I always find it really difficult when people compare one creative person's work to another in, in some sort of way that, that elevates it above another person's work. One of the great things about Los Angeles to me is that it feels like there's a lot of room for a lot of people to do whatever they feel like doing.